Um, so I want to thank everybody for attending uh, tonight. I, I know, uh, you know, we do a lot of things on video and, and um, so sometimes that can be tiring, but it's the only way if you want to hear live music, it's the only way to really do it these days. So um, I'm glad you could, you could be here. Um, I think it's kind of interesting how, uh, you know, during this performance, if you feel, hi, hi, everybody. <laughs> Great to see everybody here. If you feel like you have to cough or sneeze or whatever, you're not gonna bother anybody, so don't worry about it. Um, or if you just wanna put the music on in the background, that's fine too. Or if you wanna just, just completely become absorbed in the music, that's another, you can also do that. And you can do, everybody can do what they want. So um, first on the program, um, I'm gonna play an arrangement of the theme from the movie, The Third Man. <clears throat> up we have oh well, thank you <laughs> next up we have um, a, a prelude by Brazilian composer Ettor Vila Lobos <clears throat> very different mood for this one
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, continue now with um, this next piece is by um, thank you thank you this next piece is by uh, uh, one of my favorite guitar players and composers Agustin Barrios Mangore who's from Paraguay um, and this one is called Madrigal Gavota. <clears throat> I decided, you know, guitar is my main instrument, and and I do guitar best, I think. Um, but I also teach the piano, and I, I think I'm getting better at the piano. And especially um, during during the pandemic, I spent a lot of time working on the piano, and so I decided this time I'm going to include some piano music that I've been working on um, within this program. So I have. Um, six pieces by Eric Satie that I've been working on and I'm going to play they're going to be kind of interspersed this was my mom's idea you should spread those pieces out because they're kind of um they're kind of slow and they're maybe a little bit strange 
but there but if you just kind of relax and let the music let the music go um i think you'll enjoy it so this is um this is the first of a set of three gymnopodies by eric satie i'm going to play on the piano and i need something to hold my music it's a long one all right, there it is. And maybe we'll change the camera angle a little bit so you can see the piano. All right. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to go back to guitar. I want to play for you. Thank you. I want to play for you. Right. This, is, this is my own arrangement of some uh, of a couple pieces or a couple songs from the musical Fiddler on the Roof. I'm going to just double check my tuning here.
And next, all right, great. Next, I have another piece from Brazil. Um, this is this is a bossa nova piece by Baden Powell um, called Canto de Osanha, Song of Hosanna. Yeah. Mm. This one's in a different tuning, so I gotta fix my tune here.
All right. Cool. Um, I'm gonna do another one by uh, another one by Augustine Barres Mangore. Um, this one is Julia Florida. going to go back to piano for the next song and this is um, the second the second of the three gymnopodies thank you thank you everyone um, the second of the third the three gymnopodies and the three pieces are very similar and you're supposed to I think imagine like you're looking at a statue from three different angles. That's kind of how it's described. So this is the second gymnopathy. Um, Thank mm -hmm. you. 
All right. So I'm going to go back to guitar and um, I'm going to play a piece for you from Cuba. All right, nice. So um, this is a, a popular Cuban theme, Canción de Cuna, which I think is a lullaby. And it's an arrangement by, by Cuban guitarist Leo Brower. And I put all my drop D songs together so I can not have to tune too much. This next one is the beginning of a little Spanish Spanish guitar set. So um, this is El Testament Amelia by Miguel Jobe. Um, hi, Gary. All right. Um, so Miguel Jobe was a close friend of, um, uh, of Torrega and also Andre Segovia. Um,
And this is a famous piece uh, by Manuel de Falla. Was originally written for the piano, but um, but arranged for the guitar. And you might recognize it. It's Dance of the Miller. <laughs> yeah, Dance of the Miller. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go back to piano for a minute. And this is the last of the three gymnopodies.
<laughs> I love that. That's my favorite of the three gymnopodies. Um, let's see. Okay, this next one I just have memorized, so. <laughs> All right. This is a um, piece by Frederick Hand, and it's Hand Study Number Two. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. And this next one is not very soothing, but it'll be fun. Um, this is a this is a a one version of a Malaganya. Now, a Malaganya is just a dance form, and so actually, for every as many flamenco guitarists as there are in the world, there are that many different kinds of Malaganya, and each one is supposed to have their own like unique way of playing a Malaganya. Um, but this one is probably the most famous one. It's by Ernesto Lacuona, um, and it's one you might have heard before, this, this Malaguena.
Malaguina. Yay, that was good. I unmuted so I could clap and say yay. Awesome. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, Fantastic. Uh, so I have just one more piece for the guitar, and then I want to close with a set of three for the piano. Um, <laughs> so I'm guess I'm going longer than 45 minutes, a little bit, but it'll All be. Right. It's well worth it. All right, I'm glad. All right. Um, yeah, so this one is uh, uh, also by Eric Satie. It's, now, he only wrote for the piano, and uh, th this song was originally for the piano and voice, but this is a guitar arrangement. Um, yeah, this is a guitar arrangement of um, Je te veux. And uh, anyway, so, so here it is, and enjoy.
Yay, that was great too. Love it. All right. So for the last part, I have a set of three, a set of three piano pieces. Um, these are the first three of the of a of the six Nasiens, also by Eric Satie. Um, and he was a very famously eccentric composer from France from the 1890s and um, played like the last piece that I played was kind of like French parlor music from that time. So kind of like more popular music and the Nassians, these were more like what he wanted to write, I guess. And uh, kind of interesting, like he wrote all of these Nassians without any measure lines and, and wrote some, some comments, like some little instructions um, to the performer at, at lots of different moments throughout the, throughout the song there's these different instructions, like make demands on yourself or step by step um, or deep in thought. I think I can do that one well. I, I don't know if I'm following all of these instructions, but we'll see how it goes. So this is the first, first Nassian. <clears throat> Thank you. 
And I'm glad you enjoyed it. So we, we love you. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, friends. Let's do it again. Oh, we will. I think we will, right, Jean? Whoever else is on. Thank you. Let's do it again. Thank you. You're welcome. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.